Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play series. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. I am doing very, very well my friends because today we're going to do some awesome, awesome things. So the first thing we're going to do is actually go ahead and check on our witch farm because I've done a fair bit of AFKing. I'll put my AFK platform there. Oh, this place is looking so good. You may notice as well I've gone ahead and I've lit up the surrounding area and I noticed when I had my spectator account on and, uh, you know, my actual account was sat up there. I noticed that the mobs were all spawning in a very, very specific radius around the farm. Now, I was expecting them to be spawning way the heck out, but apparently not. It's, it's a bit strange. It's almost like a spherical spawn space or something like that. I don't really know. I don't really know the ins and outs of uh, mob spawning mechanics. But whatever the case, my friends, I've done like two hours or so AFKing. And uh, you can see that we have a bit of a supply of stuffs going on here, my friends. Obviously, the stuffs we're most interested in probably is the redstone and probably the glowstone. Uh, maybe the maybe the gunpowder as well, to be honest with you. And then, yeah, everything else is just sort of, you know, surplus to what we need. These are the three things that I'm more interested in. Glowstone stone of course for building gunpowder for fireworks and then of course redstone for well redstone <laughs> so yeah anyways guys today today what we're going to start off by doing is we are going to make ourselves a fully automatic composter and the way we're going to achieve that is by adding it onto our iron farm because we have a rather hefty amount of poppies down there and poppies can be composted so i kind of decided you know what it makes a lot of sense to go ahead and make uh, make a bit of usage out of it you know what i'm saying so what we need to do ladies and gentlemen is we need to go down a few blocks here and then sort of dig out a bit sort of so we need to have this going down that's going to be another hopper that's going to be a composter that is going to be a hopper leading into a central chest where all of the bone meal is going to go so it's pretty simple uh, the way we do this actually in fact it's incredibly simple to be honest with you what we need to do is we need to make ourselves an item filter uh, which of course means that uh, we should probably grab ourselves some more space actually Obviously, we'll go ahead and fill this in as we go along or light it up or whatever we feel like doing just to be able to get out of here and not really have to worry about mobs spawning down here. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, guys, we're going to do a little thing here. So uh, first hopper is going to be going there, but the comparator is going to be going on top of there. Okay, so what we need to do is bring this out three blocks, go down a block right there, put a block there, put a block there. So it's almost like a loop. And then what we need to do is start placing in the various bits of redstone. So let's begin with the comparator there. And what we need to do very, very specifically, this is where I got it wrong in my creative test world, but eventually figured it out. We need to face the hopper into the comparator, okay? And then below it, we can have ourselves a regular hopper, and then we can have the composter. And then, of course, we are going to have hoppers leading to the middle. That is going to be what we do, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to lead to a central chest where the bone meal is all going to reside. Okay, pretty cool stuff. So uh, we'll do that in just a bit. But anyways, let's go ahead and work a bit more on the item filter here. Very, very simple stuff, here. So just trying to place in the redstone. Okay, then we get a repeater rather like that piece of redstone dust rather like that and that is going to lock the hopper i do believe so what we need to do is we need to uh somehow get back up oh jeez. okay uh hello okay i think i can get out there without you know us ruining things too much uh-huh yeah yeah that kind of works so all we need to do now is oh geez that's a disaster oh goodness me okay right uh Right, so those need to continue filling up with hopper, uh, sorry, poppies, rather like that. And then, yep, that is now starting to filter down, but uh, we are going to have iron somewhere? Or are we? I don't know. Right, let me just go ahead and uh, confirm that it's working. So let's go back down here 
And is it working or not? I can't really tell because I can't see the... Yeah, okay, so the bone meal is ready to be extracted. Okay, coolio. And the, the iron, uh, we seem to have it on our person here. Okay, brilliant. All right, so it is officially working. We have a fully automatic compost... Uh, sorry, bone meal farm, which is very nice. And then all we need to do is extract it to a central location, which is what we're going to go and do. So let's get back up here. Boop. And let's put the crafting table back in. And yep, there we go. All right, so... All we need to do is go around the opposite side down here and do the same. So, once again, hopper goes into the powder. Second hopper drags it down. That's going to be the composter. That's going to be the hopper extracting it. So, all we need to do, really, is try to find the central point. Uh-huh. All right, guys. So, let's get this uh, item filter in as well. And then we can carry on. All right, folks, so if I've done this correctly, then this should be the central area. All we need to do is go ahead and lead hoppers into it. And there we go. We have a piece of bone meal. We could put a second piece in there already. And then we could just keep doing that. And yeah, this thing should start to fill up with bone meal automatically as we go along. Ah, oh, yeah, seems to be working real nice. Okay, so all we need to do is go ahead and do the remaining two. And then we will be good, right? Uh-huh. Very, very nice. <laughs> cool. Oh, man. I like making little redstone contraptions like this. So, yeah. There'll be four composters, four automatic composters going at any one time. And, well, as you can see, this is even now starting to fill up with bone meal. So, it's, it's just a free bone meal farm. I know. I know. We could probably use the poppies for something else. You know, some other build or flower field or something. But for now, my friends, I just don't have a use for that many poppies. Let's be honest here. Alrighty, folks. Let's get these final few in. So, once again, comparator and then comparator and then we've got the hoppers that are going to be leading into the comparators okay uh ah uh, no matter what we do, they're going to wind up, you know, filtering down as we go. Uh, so, anyways, we need to bring this down rather like that. Do the same here. Get ourselves the remaining composters and then do a little bit of this. Okay. So, uh, let's bring in the redstone real quick. Okay. And let's see if we can't place these in. A little bit of uh, jumping precision action. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. So, that's that one done. And let's get this final one done. Okay, and repeater and torch. Okay, that should be it, ladies and gents. Okay, so far so good. Uh, this doesn't appear to be filling up, though, so I can only assume that something up top has uh, prevented it from doing so. So, uh, let's see if we can't get ourselves out of here real quick. Uh, do a little bit of this. Jump on out of here. And I'm assuming that what is happening... Is that... Wait, what? Where's the... Oh, there it is. There's the hopper. I'm assuming that what's happening here is there's some iron getting trapped in this. Uh, no, that's still looking good. Okay, good Uh Let's check on this one. No, that's still looking good as well. Hey, where's the... Oh, man. Oh, it's the crafting table. Of course it is. Duh. Okay, and what is going on with this one? Is there iron caught in it? No, there's not. Uh-huh. Okay. Right. Well, there we go, my friends. An endless supply of bone meal. Beautiful. You guys are not dying in vain. You really, really are not. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Well, I think what we should also do is move these top poppies manually down to the bottom chests and then we'll be good to go from there, right? So, here's what I think we should do. I think we should make ourselves like a bit of a secret entrance kind of deal. Like maybe we place down the glowstone there and there and then we have ourselves like a little bit of a hole and then we could just swim up and down it or something, something nice and easy, you know? I think we can make it work. I think we can make it work. All right, folks, so the water streams are in place. We go under here, and here we go. We've got a nice open area, and here we are. We have a nice supply of bone meal growing and going, and oh my goodness me, it's 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 producing bone meal so fast, guys. I don't even know what to freaking do with it. Okay, so uh, there's a bunch of poppies in there. Uh, we need to go underneath here, and ideally, if, uh, hmm, if I get rid of any of this, then I think I might mess it up. Ah, but if I do that, then I gain access to the bottom chest, which is what I was wanting to do in the first place. So, what that means is I can put the poppies in there. Oh my gosh. There are, that is so many poppies. Good grief. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Right, so this one has, quite frankly, an insane amount of poppies. I'm going to go ahead and re like redistribute this a little bit. 
There we go. Why is there string in here? I'm very confused. I have got absolutely no idea why string would possibly be a thing that is inside of these chests. But, uh, y you know, Minecraft, you, you do you and all that. <laughs> what? I'm so confused. All right, well, uh, let's try and uh, spread the load. Oh, yeah, there's like barely any in that one, my friends. You see, the quicker we get this done, the quicker we can get the chests emptied and, you know, have a bit more iron going on. You know what I'm saying? There we go. If I've done this right, then that should be... Yeah, that's, that's every single poppy going, my friends. Okay, so uh, yeah, we can put a few stacks in there. Uh, a few stacks in here. Yeah, why not? Oh, no, those are arrows. I'm going to get the string out of there. It really should not be in there. Uh, so some more in there and yeah why not okay go for it seriously though what is with the string where could i possibly be? oh i know i think cats drop string when they die don't they uh-huh yeah i don't really consider that did i sorry kitty cats that have inadvertently died due to my iron farm i didn't mean to man i didn't mean to Okay, well there you go ladies and gentlemen That is that little project for today's episode Complete, a fully automatic Composter feeding straight Off of the drops from the iron golem Farm, beautiful my friends Do you know what I'm going to do while I'm down here As well, I'm going to grab this iron I'm going to repair all of my stuff Alright guys, so as you can see We're just going through all of our iron Supplies and consolidating them All into their block Form, so actually when it comes down To it, we should wind up with, well, nothing at the end of all of this. So yeah, all of my stuffs are now repaired due to the mending and trading and stuffs. I mean, ah, we keep saying we need to make an end of them farm, guys, but honestly, <laughs> like, we're just repairing our stuff purely by trading, and it's super freaking satisfying, guys. It really, really is. And of course, you know, we got a whole bunch of emeralds as well, so that's kind of cool. So guys, check this out. This is now our iron supply. Oh, that's looking good. Baby, that's looking very nice. Oh, man. Dude, we've got so many great AFK farms going on now that we just don't need to do anything with. Like, they will literally pay for themselves in no time. All I need to do is just AFK. Like, which farm? Just AFK. Anything in the mansion. Literally just AFK. And I will get so many resources. It's actually stupid. So, with all of that said and done, ladies and gents, there is... Actually, a new snapshot that has come out at the time of me recording this, which is, I don't even know what the date is today, if I'm being completely honest with you. In fact, let me look at my phone real quick. The 9th of October is when I'm pre-recording this, but it's probably gone out quite a lot later than that. There is, in fact, a new snapshot, uh, which is 41A. Now, once again, I'm not upgrading this world to that snapshot because it is very, very laggy, like even more laggy than this. And, you know, th this is a too bad this is actually really quite smooth in comparison to 41a i feel like as the 1.15 snapshots have gone on the performance has just gotten worse and worse and worse and that is something which i truly truly do hope is fixed in the coming few snapshots because if not then uh, we could potentially have an issue with this world going forward and i don't want to have to do anything that involves you know putting the world's you know, health at jeopardy, etc, etc, or the world's future at jeopardy, you know. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, what I wanted to do is I wanted to head into the snapshot, A, to show you the bad performance, and B, because I want to show you guys the new blocks. There's a couple new blocks, the honeycomb blocks and the wax block or whatever it is, I can't remember. So, I'm going to back up this world, I'm going to have a look at the new blocks, and then we will revert to this world in this very snapshot after that. So, guys, let's go check Check out the new stuffs. Alrighty, uh, guys. So here we go in 41A. Let's go ahead and see what we've got going on. So yeah, we're upgrading the world to 41A, but like I say, we will revert back to 37A afterwards. Oh my goodness me, I could already really very much notice the performance decrease. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's not great. It's it's not as smooth as 37A. It really, really isn't. Like I say, as the snapshots have progressed, uh, the smoothness has regressed it's it's gotten worse guys oh gosh okay so and that's with the biome blend thing disabled that i mentioned a few episodes you know that old workaround so yeah i'm looking at this right now i'm getting like what 50 60 fps kind of and then i don't know i mean eh, just it just feels clunkier man 
it just feels clunky. Okay, well, anyways, we're here to check out the new blocks. We have ourselves a honey block and a honeycomb block. So, no wax block? Or was the wax block renamed to one of the new things? I don't know. Well, anyways, we do have ourselves honeycombs. Uh, but the things we need to create the honey blocks are honey bottles. So, we need to go ahead and uh, see if we can't get those. Uh, ah, okay, another issue with 41A. Uh, apparently, my paintings have popped off. Oh, that's interesting. Like, it's very specifically those ones. What? That's really confusing. Why, why would that be the case? Huh. Okay. Well, anyways, guys. Oh, uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? Ugh. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, well, if you want to get freaking motion sickness, then upgrade to 41. Oh, no, no. I can't, oh, my God. I can't handle that. That's that's bad. That's real bad, man. Oh, my goodness me. Okay. So, glass bottles. I'll tell you what. We're going to make ourselves some more as well. And then uh, we'll get on with some things. Hello there, sirs. Uh, oh. Okay. The zombies have their head <laughs> texture missing. What? <laughs> what? That's so confusing. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that needs fixing. Oh, my goodness me. Well, obviously, we need to bear in mind that, you know, these are snapshots and that, you know, these are the very things that the Yang employees are going to be looking for. But, oh, my goodness. Some of these things are a little bit more funny than the other ones, I'll be honest. But, uh, yeah, anyways. Oh, oh geez. Are you mad at me? Oh, he's mad, bro! He's mad! Why are you mad at me? You've got a campfire! Shouldn't that cool you down? Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. okay. They seem fine. What? What is going on? I'm really confused. Okay. Uh, right, well, uh, do we have anything else going on here? Uh, there's another one that's full up. Boop. Cheers, broski. Okay, and one more. Ah, oh, dang, Blaster. Do we only have three of them that are actually full? Ah, oh, man! Huh. Well, I guess we're going to have to wait. All right. Well, I guess in the meantime, we could check out the uh, the honeycomb blocks, right? So let's just pop out here real quick. Oh, yeah. You just saw the uh, new recipe unlocked. Oh, okay. So you could just do it in your two by two. Oh, that's cool. Oh, man. I already like the look of it. I already. Whoa. Is it animated? Oh. Whoa. Okay. So what does it mind quicker with? Nothing. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, what about shears? Can shears break them quicker? Ah, okay. So they're not broken quicker by any tool. Interesting. Also, the block breaking texture seems to be slightly broken as well. Interesting. I really like the texture of that. I think that's a fantastic texture. I really, really do. It's ever so simple, isn't it? I love it. I can see me uh, using this in build in future. Like, if we want to make ourselves like an apiary of any kind, we could totally put that down. Dude, that's so cool. Okay, right. Well, we need one more honey bottle, and then we can check out the uh, the sort of slime-ish block type thing. Yeah. Well, guys, it certainly took a while, so I managed to get myself a cup of tea in the meantime. But is it uh, is it four of these like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there we go. There's the honey blocks. You seem to get the bottles back as well. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we have ourselves the honey block and honeycomb block. Awesome. Okay, so let's just pop out here real quick and have a little bit of a look at it. Ooh. Okay, so... Oh. Oh, whoa. Oh, that was weird. Ah! You can, like, barely jump on it. Huh. Okay, uh, what about walking speed? I mean, yeah, it certainly seems to be slower, huh? Huh, this is really cool. Okay, I kind of want to take it outside and uh, see what we can do with it. Uh, well, if it's a sticky block, can I use, uh, like, blocks on it with a piston? And then, like, push them all at the same time? Is that something I'll be able to do? I feel like I should uh, test that real quick. Oh, my goodness me. Okay, so the lever apparently has a black background. Uh, that is a little bit on the strange side, it has to be said, but uh, whatever the case, doesn't matter. It is a snapshot. It's a very broken snapshot, I must admit, but uh, oh, oh, I hate that. Ugh! That needs fixing <laughs> so badly. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Let's get over to the uh, Woodland Town Center area and we'll give this thing a bit of a go. Okay, so uh, there's the sticky piston. Let's put the lever down there real quick. Honey block. And let's put like some cobblestone around it and see what happens. Okay. Boop. Ah, okay. Cool. So it acts basically as a slime block. Okay. So is there any like special properties with this? Like if I was to do that. Uh-huh. Okay. Is there like a limit to the amount that this can push though? I'm pretty sure with slime blocks it's something like 12 or something like that if I remember correctly. So if I was to go ahead and uh, build myself up here, so that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Will that still push it? I don't actually know. Boop. Okay, so it doesn't do that amount. Interesting. Alrighty, so 10 blocks tall. Okay, so that seems to work at 10 blocks tall. Okay, so 11 blocks tall. Okay, still works. Okay, so uh, the limit is the same as slime blocks, I do believe. Uh, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Right, if I could land on top of the... Oh, jeez. It's the lag, man. The lag is preventing me from being able to uh, land on here properly. Oh, gosh darn it. All right, well, I guess we're doing this the old-fashioned way. Oh, my goodness me. This is a rough snapshot. I am... Uh, I'm glad I'm not using this one going forward, my friends. Uh, you know, I mean, yeah, we've made the honey blocks and all that, but I don't really mind losing them in favor of stability. So, yeah, I'd very much rather wait for a much more stable snapshot before, uh, you know, plunging this world into a new snapshot. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Okay, so as far as I know, that's pretty much it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's one more thing, though, isn't there? Iron golems now have, like, a cracking animation, right? Like, when they've got... Oh, my goodness. So, when these guys have got low health, they have, like, a cracked texture. But, apparently, you can repair them with an iron ingot. I think that's worth a go. Alrighty, iron ingot in hand, and... Boop. Oh! Hey! There you go. Huh, that worked. Okay, so it took three to restore him to his former glory. That's cool. I like that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so you now have like a visual indicator as to when your iron golems get low on health. I think that's actually a really, really cool feature. I think that's fantastic. Uh, so are there any dudes around here that have low health? Yeah, there's like one over here that has low health as well. Ah. Boop. Yay! I love that it gives, like, a noise as well. Yeah, look, there's one over here that's, like, really damaged as well. Okay, right, there's one other thing I wanted to check, and that is the iron farm. Like, has any of the iron golem mechanics changed? So, you know, they now have, like, a visible sort of HP meter, I guess, with the visual change they go through. Uh, are there any changes here going through? Uh, so that zombie still doesn't have a head texture. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm, okay. So let's head down here real quick. Uh, does everything still work? Uh, any iron golems to speak of? Hello! <laughs> do you guys want to come down and die? You know you want to. You do. You know you want to. Huh. Oh, wait, no. They do still spawn. Okay. Hmm. I was going to suggest that uh, maybe they uh, they messed around with the golem spawning mechanics, but uh, I don't think they have. Hmm. However, only one spawn then. Typically, I get two, right? Hmm. Okay. Right. I'm going to wait here for just a second. I'm going to see if that's always the case. Alrighty, guys. I'll be honest with you. That is the fifth time in a row where I've only seen one iron golem spawn at a time. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if they have, like, messed around with the spawning mechanics, but, uh, so far I'm seeing a reduction in the efficiency of this particular iron farm design. Either that, or I've got, like, another iron golem somewhere elsewhere in the mansion, and uh, we need to do something about it. I, I don't really know, to be honest with you. Like, is there a golem in here? I don't know. Hmm. Just seems a bit strange to me is all. Right, I tell you what, I'll, I'll head up to the top floor because if they are going to spawn, it's going to be up there, isn't it? So let's just pop up here. Uh, okay, nothing, nothing. If they were to spawn, it would be in the surrounding rooms. But uh, yeah, there isn't any. There's, there's no one here. Hmm. Okay, that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. So what I'm seeing basically is a reduction in the efficiency of the iron golem farm design. So, yeah. Hmm. 
Okay, so all in all, I mean, yeah, the honey block, you know, the honeycomb blocks and the honey blocks, they're cool. They're cool additions. But aside from that, this snapshot is very, very rough. And, uh, well, if you were to ask me, I would very much not recommend uh, upgrading to the snapshot if you have any worlds that you care about. Because, yeah, you're going to be getting worse performance and uh, a whole bunch of weirdness with the blocks and items. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely hoping that that's going to be something that is fixed in the coming snapshot. So, for now, my friends, we're, we're going to say goodbye to the snapshot. We're going to revert to the save from 37A and we're going to go forward from there. And ladies and gents, here we are back in the realms of smooth FPS. A very smooth 120 there, my friendos. And even when I look at the mansion and load in all of the sheep, it's still very, very smooth. So yeah, again, I very much do not recommend you upgrading uh, to 41A. I'd stay on 37A as, in air quotes, the, 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 the latest stable snapshot anyway. So yeah. Anyways, guys, so yeah, a little bit more of a chilled laid back episode. You know, we've got a fully automatic uh, composting machine again linked to the iron golem farm and we've checked out some of the new features in the recent snapshot so ladies and gents that's going to wrap it up for today's episode but as always before heading off we have ourselves the comment question of the video the mage gaming says hi python have you ever thought about making a settlement in a mushroom biome i think that you could make a small or i think that you could make small mushroom houses and maybe even transport villagers to it love you vids keep up the good work buddy thank you so much and uh yeah it's it's genuinely been something i have uh, considered and well honestly like I say, I, I know the project that I want to be taking on next, and that is going to be something that involves the episode one house, you know, expanding the surroundings around that, you know. It'll be a good time, my friends. But uh, yeah, I mean, I have always been inspired by Iskal's old The Island series, because that thing was really, really awesome. I actually really enjoyed that series, uh, whereby he took a mushroom island, converted it into his own, and made a whole bunch of epic stuff. And honestly, uh, I do I do draw inspiration from there at times, and it's, it's awesome. So it is... It could be something that maybe bleeds over into the series. I don't know. Either that or, you know, pending the, you know, responses on the poll in the last episode regarding a possible build series, then you never know. It might just crop up somewhere, my friends. But, ladies and gents, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, you guys know what to do. Drop a like rating. I'd very much appreciate it, my friends. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, it is time for me to head off. Thank you so much for watching. Next episode, the goal is simple. Finish Woodland Town in time for the episode 15 map download. Guys, I'm super looking forward to it. I really, really am. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.